Hello everyone. In this brief presentation, we're going to explore the care approach to working with textbooks. Why don't we get started and first talk a little bit about the nature of teaching with textbooks. So as EFL or ESL teachers, oftentimes we, are, we either choose a textbook to work with, maybe we're assigned a textbook to work with, whatever the case is, we end up working with textbooks. And of course, these have wonderful positives, like for instance, um, it's time, it saves time for us because textbooks pretty much have a lot of activities and exercises ready to go and that I can just take and use. It also has positives like um, it being level appropriate oftentimes. So if I'm teaching a beginner class and I'm using book one of a textbook, um, it will probably most likely have the correct use of language and the language level. It also is a good guide in terms of what type of grammar, vocabulary, structures might be helpful for a given level. Working with textbooks also comes with challenges, of course. Oftentimes textbooks are not updated, so it might be that the pop stars or the music mentions or um, the technology that is referred to in the textbook are not the most current recent ones that our students might be used to. Therefore, perhaps not as engaging for them. There are also other challenges connected to um, textbooks not necessarily following teaching and learning frameworks. For instance, the PPP framework. So a textbook might have some aspects of PPP, but not all of them. And of course, this, come, this brings a whole bunch of good opportunities for us as teachers. In this next section of the presentation, we're going to talk about how to work with textbook, textbooks, make the most out of them, and how to effectively um, add what might be missing or lacking. And this is where I'm going to bring up the care approach. So when, when as a teacher I'm working with a textbook, oftentimes I have to first take a look at it and study the textbook before I start using it and decide first what I'm going to choose and use as it is. So it might be that the first activity from a unit is really good. I like the way it works. It actually makes sense as a good present activity. So I'm going to choose it and use it as it is. There might be times where I need to adapt aspects of the textbook. So perhaps there is an activity for a presentation stage that um, I feel is good. However, I might need to edit it, adapt it a little bit to make it more effective. Perhaps it has a nice little quote that I think might be engaging for students, but maybe it's lacking a nice image. So I might have to adapt that activity and add something to it. I also, there might also be times when I'm just going to straight out reject something. So it might be that I'm using the textbook and I see an activity where I'm like, oh God, no, <laughs> that doesn't seem very effective. It's too boring or too difficult, maybe too easy. I'm not doing it. I'm going to skip it. I am rejecting that activity. And there also might be moments in which I might need to expand, meaning I might need to supplement and bring in something new that the textbook doesn't offer at all. Oftentimes with textbooks, they don't always have good um, production activities, activities that get students speaking and engage and using the language in a more interactive way. So in that case, I might need to expand on the textbook by integrating a new activity. So I'm going to, I want to integrate and connect this with the PPP framework, which I already mentioned a little bit. Um, and as you all know, there's present, practice, and produce as part of the PPP framework. And in the next assignment you're going to do on Canvas, you're going to be asked to do a little reflection activity and also a discussion forum where you're going to talk about using textbooks and using PPP. I look forward to seeing it.